Okay, so we're going to make the bearing bushes. So it's all one dump. We come back over here. Press forward. Now I do should lock that down, but I always find the stepper motor holds it tight enough for certainly a little drilling operation like this. Should really be using a center drill, but actually I've not taken these to uh, full width. These are actually going to be wider. This is just to get a mark on the frames, but. Okay, so I've got the bushes made now, and I've also tapped these slotted holes for the bearings, or for the bushes I should say. So the next thing is now that this wheel can now slide in and it can slot in. Okay, so with this underneath now, I can basically lift it and slot under position, into position. And I can then take my bearings and I can slide those in. Slide those in place. Push that forward. There we go. And now I can align this up and I can screw in my M3 screws. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna come back. All the fasteners that I'm using aren't gonna be the final fasteners. Um, they're just to temporarily get everything back together. But let's screw these up now and see how it looks. Okay, and there it is in position. Nicely, freely spinning. It's quite heavy, it's got a big brass uh, wheel on there. A little bit of end shake, which is what you want. One thing I like about clock making is that, unlike precision engineering, you do want a little bit of play so that everything moves nice and free. So there you go, another step closer. So qu quite a big bit now um, will be to build up the rest of the gear train and, um, and that's what I'm going to do next. So that's going to be the next step in this, um, but I'm well on to it now, fully engaged and hopefully the videos are going to keep coming. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.